interrogating your assumptions and expanding your inventory of ideas. Let's get back to Tavis Smiley on KBLA Talk 1580. Danny Glover was here a few weeks ago um, celebrating the 30th anniversary of the Pan African Film Festival here in L.A. Uh, and uh, he gave the rundown of a lot of things that were premiering at the festival. At the festival, and you had a movie called Survival that you produced that premiered. So tell me about the premiere night. How was it? And tell me about the film. Okay, I like to start by just saying um, being part of Pan African was amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the executive producers are Lee Daniels and her husband Henry. Mm -hmm. um, Leah Daniels is um, known for casting, and they're stepping into the arena and doing production. And um, when Leah asked me to do this film, um, I was like, let's do it. Because as I said, you know, people know me for condomy, people know me for a lot of things, but this movie was very, very difficult. Mm. It's, um, I don't even know what to say. It's, it's so many layers to it. Like she gets kidnapped and this guy is running from the police. And so he kidnaps her when she's going to pick up her child. And then it just gets crazy from there. Like yeah. he's, He's abusive. He's he rapes her. He's I'm in a ditch. I'm in, and I really wanted to do something so people could look at me as a serious actress again. So it's dark. So it's extremely dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I I can't say I enjoyed doing it, mm -hmm. but I enjoyed the process. Yeah. Meaning being a producer and and stepping out and being in charge of um, the actual film, helping with casting. Helping with, I was, I'm the type of producer because I'm an actor first. Like, mm -hmm. if we didn't have toilet paper in the in the honey wagons, I'm like, well, okay, I guess I'm not, I'm gonna be a little late because I'm mm -hmm. gonna go get the toilet paper for mm -hmm. the for the other actors. Um, I really took a hands-on role as a producer as well as being number one on the call sheet. Now yeah. it was very difficult to do, especially on a low budget. Yeah. Um, but I'm very proud of the film and what I was able to accomplish. When you're playing a character like that, at least, how do you not take that home with you at night? Oh, I definitely took it home with me. Yeah. Oh, I definitely took it home with me. Um, there was no other way when it was an independent film and, you know, we only had like a, a month and a half to shoot it mm -hmm. that I couldn't. And I, I mean that as an actor, it's like you, if I have to wake up again at five o'clock in the morning and I still have to be in that dark place and we don't have the budget for me to not be in that dark place, I have to wake up and be in that dark place again. Mm -hmm. I have to wake up and I, I, I think one time I stayed at a, in a little small hotel probably like two weeks just to be in that dark place mm -hmm. so I could be by myself be in the dark place and do this film to the best of its ability yeah um it, it stayed with me a while after that too, yeah. to be honest you talked earlier about um this is my word not yours um about being sort of typecast as mm -hmm. a mom when you did the Higley show yeah. Um, do you think you also sort of got typecast in that comedy realm and, 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 could, and you couldn't break out to be seen as a dramatic actress? A hundred percent. Cause yeah. it was weird because I started as a dramatic mm -hmm. artist in Rosewood, mm -hmm. you know, and then right after let's, that. Let's just, just shout out John Singleton uh, right quick. God, God rest his soul. We love John Singleton. He was my mentor too. As you know, his studio is down the street from yes, where you I are right exactly now. exactly where I am. Yeah, exactly, so yeah. he's my mentor. He was my mentor, uh, for everything. Um, taught me so much about filmmaking. He's such a great person, such a great soul. Yeah. And what was always so great about John was that he just truly loved film. Yeah. He could sit and watch film after film after film all night long yeah. and talk about it and explain it. And he was he was very, very sweet. Yeah, my friend, my brother, and my Kappa brother, mm -hmm. I might add, uh, yeah. John Singleton. Our guest is Elise Neal. More with her when we come forward on KBLA Talk 1580. Well, it was a great film, and the cast on that thing. So Don Cheadle, yeah. Esther Rowe. One of her last roles. Yeah. So yeah. you you were you were a part of a, an amazing cast for Rosewood. It was Don Chino, Ving Rhames. Ving Rhames, yeah. Esther Roll. Uh, it was just amazing. And you know, I I auditioned like five times yeah. uh for that role. Um, John was like, I think you got it, but you got you to prove it to the network. You got to prove it to, to the, the... I was like, okay, okay. Yeah. Five times. Yeah. And um, I ended up getting it. And it was just an amazing experience for me to have such a high level of actors around me every single day teaching me the ropes, yeah. sharing some little tidbits. And Ving and I talked all the time. And he was just so sweet and so 
just sharing of information that at that time I was so new to yeah. the game. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we had such a good time when we could though. Yeah. That was a definitely another that was, that was, another that's hard, a tough, another that's a tough, yeah, that's a tough. Yeah. That's but a I tough like set. that. I yeah. like I like that digging in. If, I mean, why, why do this if you don't have those levels? You yeah. know, you're not gonna push yourself. Yeah, you gotta push. Yourself. Although there are a lot of folk in your business, as you well know, they get into a genre where they stay. They don't. They don't want it. They don't want to stretch. Yeah, I mean, but if this is what they different. do. And that's what they do. Yeah, and everybody's different. Yeah. You know, I I come from as a dancer. Mm -hmm. You know, I. I, I give me something different. Yeah. Give me some dance. Give me some some comedy. Give me give me things that challenge me. Yeah. I like it like that. What, what's what's it like when you have a person like John Singleton, um, who is fighting for you, and standing behind you, convincing the studio that you are the person for this role? You just don't want to disappoint that person. Yeah, you know, yeah. you just do not want to disappoint. So I studied hard. I had at least two different acting coaches making sure I was on point every single scene, every single moment, because I'm just not going to disappoint him. Mm -hmm. That was really how I took it. Yeah, That's a beautiful thing, though, because oftentimes you're in this thing on your own, right? Yeah. But to have a director, producer standing behind you saying, no, this is the one I want. Yeah. And helping to convince the studio to give you the part. And it, I was a... even more country back then, too, because yeah, yeah. I was just kind of getting into L.A., so the accent was still kind of thick. Yeah. <laughs> so it was cool. Yeah. How, how did you make, um, again, your fans, and myself included, know you, of course, that you know, started out in dance. How did how did you and why did you want to make the, the uh, transition from dance to, to acting? Great question. Yeah. Um, because I was horrible at it. Yeah. So back in the day. Horrible at what? At, at, at acting. Oh, not dancing you were. Oh, no. I, oh. Full scholarship. Yeah, you oh, killed no, 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 no. that thing. Yeah. Full scholarship okay. over here. All right. Uh, and, <laughs> <laughs> dance major. There you um, go. But yeah, no, I, I took an acting class when I was living in New York. Okay, mm -hmm. I used to live in New York. I used to do my Broadway, all the all the touring companies mm -hmm. and stuff in, in New York. And then I decided to take a, a class because what I figured out is all the money's in the commercials. Mm. So I was like, oh, okay, well, I can dance. I can, okay, I can be, I can do this. So I took a class on the weekend. It was an acting class. I was horrible. Yeah. And I was like, oh, God, that, that tape was horrible. They, they sent me. <laughs> I can do better than this. Yeah. I can be better than this. So then it was more so me trying to be better. Mm -hmm. Then I started to fall in love with it. Yeah. So I just started taking class after class after class. And then I just fell in love with it. Yeah. Then I moved, used that commercial money and moved to L.A. Yeah. And the rest was history. The rest of this is history. <laughs> um, I, I, I've asked this question, I think, of one or two other people. And it really, it's really my own personal story as well. But what did you learn? What did you imbibe in the country? that you brought with you to the city hmm. that you never want to let go of. You mentioned earlier the accent. It was a little thick when you first got yes. here. But what about the country is still in you that you don't apologize for, that you want to hold on to for as long as you're in the city? My morals. There you go. My morals. Yeah, yeah, My mama yeah. taught me better. Yeah. I always lead with that. My mama taught me better than whatever this person wants me to do. My mama is looking from down on heaven about mm -hmm. everything I do. Mm -hmm. I lead with that with everything you know this was not something that i will ever 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 just waver on yeah. my morals are everything yeah. you know i study really hard to be good at this job i know i'm good at this job and i leave with my talent and i leave with my morals and i know my mama is proud yeah it's one thing to disappoint your uh, your director friend who's fighting with the studio to give you a part it's another thing disappoint your mama amen and every one of us uh, is, I, I think, uh, in some ways, trying to make our mamas proud. I know always, I am. Always, always. And I know you are as well. I know you are, and I know you are. Thank uh, you. <laughs> and so I'm delighted to have had you in the studio. We'll do it again. Uh, your first time here, but not your last hey. time. Um, the new series on BET is called The Black Hamptons. Uh, her movie is called uh, Survival, in which she starred and produced. If you're going to be in Miami for the uh, American Black Film Festival, you will see Elise Neal yeah. and her film, Survival, uh, down in Miami. That's a nice getaway if you can uh, schedule yourself to get to Miami in June. It's a great event, and I know you'll enjoy it, as will those who uh, get a chance to go there. Um, so, Elise, thank you for coming by. Thank you so much for having uh, me. I appreciate having you again. Your first time, but not your last. Uh, good to see you. you That's too. our show for today. Back here tomorrow morning, Lord.